Hi, everybody, and welcome to another uh, edition of the Chief Audit Executive Briefing. Um, a couple things I wanted to go over with you this week. Uh, first off, I just got back from the IIA International Conference here in Anaheim, and it was a great conference. Um, if you weren't able to be here, uh, sorry about that. It was a, it was a great time uh, actually getting to reconnect with a lot of people that I haven't talked to. Uh, sometimes in actually many years, and uh, also got to actually meet in person some of the people that I've, I've had a relationship with online, uh, but hadn't had the opportunity to talk with in person. Uh, so it was really great for me uh, to be able to be there, and thank you for all of those of you that I got to meet uh, while I was there. Now, also during a conference, I did uh, do a breakout session on how to become a more mindful and emotionally intelligent leader. And uh, it was a great session. We had uh, probably close to 500 people uh, in that particular session. It was standing room only. They actually had to close the doors and not let any more people in because of the fire uh, codes. And so I know that a lot of people did not get to see that presentation. Uh, so one thing, I'm doing an encore uh, the end of this month. I'm going to do a webinar on that same topic. And so uh, further down, you'll be able to see the link for that. It's going to be on July 30th. Uh, so go ahead and click on that link and register. <clears throat> and that way you can actually see. It won't be exactly the same presentation because we can't do some of the uh, interactive things that we did during it, uh, but we'll still try to present uh, that information. And uh, it's a big it's a big deal now. A lot of people are talking about emotional intelligence, uh, but also I think it's important from a mindfulness standpoint uh, so that we can actually learn how to reduce our stress, uh, be more in the present, and uh, it actually makes a huge difference uh, in your life and uh, actually makes you happier. So I uh, would encourage you to uh, join me on that webinar the end of this month. Again, that's July 30th, and uh, you'll see the link uh, to be able to register for that down below. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about and one of the reasons why I'm wearing my Angels uh, gear today is uh, I actually like baseball. I love baseball and I love football. And um, in the last uh, week or so, we actually had uh, my team here is the Los Angeles Angels. And uh, we had another unfortunate issue where one of our pitchers uh, actually died unexpectedly. And so uh, his name was Tyler Skaggs. And um, actually, he, uh, he was a great pitcher. And uh, it was very, very sad uh, to see him pass away. Uh, but the reason that I'm bringing this up is I, I went to the game um, on Friday, and uh, it to to me it just shows, and it's another example of why community is so important in our lives and why we need a community. So at the beginning of the game, obviously they had a tribute uh, to Tyler, uh, shared some of the videos and other things about him, and then his mother actually was the one who threw out the first pitch. Uh, so his mother was there, his brother, and his wife, and uh, had a little kind of celebration of Tyler's life uh, before the game started. Now, this was a sold-out game. There's about 43, 45,000 people at the game, and uh, it was just amazing uh, to be there as this group um, as we honored Tyler and actually had 45 seconds of silence uh, to remember him because his number was 45. And um, so went through the game and, and obviously, uh, you know, the players on the team who were friends with him and had that sense of community, they were playing that game for Tyler. And I have to say it was probably one of the most amazing games that I have actually watched um, in the first inning when the Angels got up to bat. Uh, they actually went all the way through the batting order. They scored seven runs in the first inning. Uh, probably one of the few times I have ever seen that in my life. And just the whole game, I mean, you could tell that they were showing up, they were playing for him and for his memory. The game ended 13 to nothing. Uh, it ended up being a no hitter, uh, which is a big deal. This is only the 11th time that the Angels have been able to do that in their history. Uh, and it was just an amazing game, but but probably one of the things that uh, that that got me, you know, thinking even more was at the end of the game, 
Um, you know, usually everybody is out of their seats very quick. And that didn't happen this time. Um, instead, you know, the players congratulated each other on uh, the field. There were a lot more hugs than normal. And then here's what was amazing uh, to me. You know, there were still probably 25 or 30,000 of us in the stands at that point. And one of the players uh, turned and went back towards the pitching mound uh, where Tyler would have played. And they were all wearing Tyler Skaggs' number and jersey uh, that night. And the first player took off his jersey and laid it down very respectfully on the uh, pitcher's mound. And all of the rest of the team did the same thing. And so you had Tyler's um, jerseys actually layered uh, throughout the pitching mound, and they ended up kind of having a little vigil there and talked about him. I'm sure we couldn't tell exactly what it was, but I was I was impressed by the respect that everybody showed uh, and that sense of community. And the reason that I'm bringing this up and actually making this video a little bit longer than normal is how important a sense of community is. Uh, you know, at different times in our lives, we are going to have challenges. So in this instance, obviously Tyler's family was challenged by him passing away. So was the team. But because they had developed a sense of community, they were there for each other. And that showed. And it was not only just the, the players and the family, but it was the fans as well who were there. There was a sense of community and an honoring Tyler's life. And that got me to thinking, you know, we all need a community in our personal life because there are different times in our life when things actually happen and we need to rely on other people. And having that sense of community allows us that. So we all need a sense of community in our personal life, but we also need a sense of community in our professional life as well. Because again, things will happen in our professional life when we need to rely on other people. And I know sometimes as professionals, we don't have that sense of community like we should, uh, so that when things happen, there are people there uh, to support us and to be with us. So for me, a sense of community is a very big deal and something that, again, as chief audit executives, you need. And that's one of the reasons why I run the Chief Audit Executive Forum, is it's a sense of community for us to be able to actually connect on a deeper level. It's a group of people that are committed to themselves and committed to others. They're there to support uh, and help the whole group. Uh, because again, as executives, we end up sometimes having difficulties and we need to be able to reach out to others and have that sense of community. So anyway, again, the, the, those thoughts were just kind of on my mind this week. So if you don't have a sense of community in your personal life, you need to develop one. If you don't have a sense of community in your professional life, you need to develop one as well. So that's kind of my thoughts. If you're, if you're interested in learning more about the Chief Audit Executive Forum, uh, just send me a, an email back, just respond back to this, and I can give you some information. Um, but again, as I said, it, it really struck me this week as I went through that experience, um, how important a sense of community is. So have a great week, and uh, I will talk to you on the next episode. Thanks.